Welcome back. It's good to see you again. I hope you've got your paper. I hope you've got your pens. We're going to be doing some great stuff today. And by great stuff, I mean the shoulder and the arm, the skeletons of it. It's another fundamentals video. And well, I'm going to be honest, didn't want to do it today. Didn't want to do the shoulders today. I would, I was looking at it and I was like, you know what? I really want to do the, I don't know, the face or the neck or the shoulders or the torso and just normal bodies, not the skeleton. Why am I doing the skeleton? There's a good reason for it. And I'm trying to live by this little philosophy now that when I don't want to do something, I have to do it now. That's that's it. Because I just told myself I don't want to do it. Because I just went, hey, this is a this is something I don't want to do. Tough luck that you just said that. Too bad. Because now you have to. So that's kind of the thing I'm trying to live by. And I hope that you take some inspiration from this and you pick something that you really don't want to do today, and you do it. And for me right now, that's going to be these shoulders and the arm structure and all that with the skeleton. I've been over this a couple of times already, but it's difficult to remember and it's difficult to keep that in your mind. So we're going to do it again. Now, as usual, for any fundamentals video, I just hit the mic, lovely. For any fundamentals video, the description will hold the references as well as the link to the Discord where you can share anything you want that you've done on this. So references in the description it's a pinterest board you'll see the ones that i'm using in the video i'll have them on screen and yeah let's get straight to it look at that hold on i <laughs> gotta show you guys uh did a little thing for you here art fundamentals shoulders arms and skeleton shoulder and arm skeleton that's it you know there we go <laughs> great presentation i'm gonna put my face over into the corner and uh, let's put it in a good corner here or maybe i'll make it a little bit smaller I shouldn't play around with that too much. What have we got? I might use a... Uh, what should I use? I do like this brush that I've been using recently. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, just trying to pick a good tool that I'm going to enjoy using. Brush pen. Oh. Let's see. Uh, this software has a lot of different tools here. And I'm trying to see which one I'm going to like using. I like the mechanical pencil one. That looks good. And we're going to use a normal pencil. I'm not going to do anything uh, out, of the, out of the blue here. Just going to go with a normal pencil. Something that we can have some fun with. I think density on the software is like how... Yeah, so that's going to be good. All right. Look at that. We've got this awesome reference over here that I want to definitely explore. Uh, it's a different angle. We don't tend to do this sort of angle often. I'm actually going to make my face a little bit bigger just so you guys can see it. So I'm going to start off by trying to build the rough shapes that we've got here, as usual. So the shoulder blade is in the shape of a big blade, as the name implies, I guess. <laughs> so this is quite fun to do here. Yeah. I'm going to see about this shape and see where I've got bits to cut out. That's another good way that you guys can go ahead and use this sort of stuff. Um, a good technique is to build the rough outer shape of something that you're doing. And then you just kind of go in and you sculpt at it. So that's basically what I'm doing here. Just taking some time to take bits off of this shape that I've just found. But I don't want to get too carried away with it yet. So we'll do that. Pen, pencil. Okay, I have to double click P, which is <laughs> annoying. I should play around with some of the settings on, on this software. Clip Studio, by the way, I do recommend it. It's a very, very good budget option for drawing and painting, especially if you're into manga. Uh, that It's fantastic for that. And I very much recommend it. Hmm, let's see. I think we've got a good good size on this. All right. Yeah, that's not too bad. We've got to we've got to go in, in a good direction. I'm very grateful that you're here with me today. I'm happy that you're taking the step to to become a better artist. I'm glad that you're here 
being part of that, I don't know how many percent, but I, I would say about 10, maybe 20 max percent of people who are actually dedicated and they're putting in the work that it takes to become one of the best artists. You're putting in this work. A lot of people, they really do not want to do the fundamentals. So, you know, I'm, I'm one of them. I put it off for so long. And now, now I'm here. Now I'm focused on it. Now it's something that I know I need to do if I want to become a good artist. There's no other way around it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're making the same decision today by joining here. I'm going to outline these videos a little bit for you guys as well. I want to make sure that I say this. These, these are for you. This is for you. A video for you to enjoy, but also to use as, as a guide almost, or use as a way to practice your own work. The reason I would love for you to join in here is because I think there's real power in just sitting down and doing the work you need to do. Um, there's, there's no shortcuts to this sort of stuff. It's really just constant grinding and building your visual library. So I'll be very happy if you decide to join me today on this and you've got your piece of paper, you got your pencil and you just went at it. That's all we want here. We want, we want growth. We want to become better artists. And that's, that's the goal, you know, and these videos, this, <laughs> this is the original point. I kind of went off topic here cause I'm trying to concentrate. Um, these videos, they're specifically made to be very long and kind of low dopamine. If that's how you want to put it. Um, the reason why is cause I think there's real, there's a lot of benefit to be had from just doing this. Like I mentioned, <laughs> already. See, I'm backtracking myself. But the whole thing that I'm trying to achieve with this is that you sit down and you get some deep work. You don't have things distracting you in this video. This is just as simple as it can be. It's me drawing and it's something you can have on in the background. And hopefully you can do the same as me or <clears throat> go about it at your own pace. But it's meant to be a very, very, <laughs> you can almost say boring. Uh, oh God. <laughs> you can almost say, um, a boring video, but I, you know, I, I've really enjoyed making these. This is uh this is my favorite type of video that I've been doing so far. So yeah, they're specifically made to be rather boring and long because that's, that's what this is about. It's about sitting down, focusing, and doing the work. It's not about some distracting animations popping up on the screen or some music playing in the background. Although I do occasionally pop in some piano music or something like that, just so it helps you a little bit of focus. There's some binaural beats that you can listen to. They're great for focus as well, but it's just about being that five, five percent. And that's, that's, I'm going to, I'm going to put it here. Five percent of people that are going to really sit down and put in the work because there's a lot of artists who want to be great artists, but they're not ready to do this, but you are, and we're doing that step. So in that case, we're here making some awesome, awesome progress on the shoulder blade. We've got some ribs as well, because if you guys saw the previous video, you'll see that we did work on some ribs, but ribs, ribs are long and I'll be honest. I didn't really want to do that one either. Cause that was a very difficult one to do, but I'm glad I got up and I did it. I'm glad I did it because doing the work when you do not feel like doing the work, it's how you build that discipline. So we're not going to rely on motivation next time to come in before we get to work. We're going to rely on discipline to be there and discipline is always there. Motivation isn't see, we're getting, we're getting kind of deep in this episode. I do apologize, but it's just the things that have been on my mind lately. And I definitely want to share it with you guys. I think it's important to keep them in mind when we're doing what we want to do. 
but anyway, I think that's actually turned out kind of cool. See, what I wanted to do in this um, in this video is to almost put like a fake sketchbook here, so it kind of looks like we're putting these into a sketchbook, but couldn't find a good template for that. So I'm thinking next time I'm going to scan my one in and put it as a background for these videos. But anyway, I think we've got a good structure here. I like the way that this is kind of turning out. Let's see. If I do the density a little bit more. I don't think density is the setting I want to go for here. It's actually probably... Well, opacity. I can't see opacity here. Also, stabilization seems to be very high. I don't want the program to do the work for me. I want to do it myself. All right. Yeah, I can't see opacity here. Whoa. <laughs> Opening up some settings here. Yeah, fantastic. I hope your, your one's looking awesome as well. I'm quite happy with the way this is turning out. It's a different angle, so I thought it would be nice to explore it. I don't want to draw too much of the other stuff here, because it's, uh, it's not really necessary for me right now. It's not what I want to focus my energy on. I think my energy, or even even with the fact that we're doing something that I don't want to be doing right now, I think I, it's best to focus my energy on getting that done to the best of my ability, right? Not putting in something else that might make it even harder to do this. Um, there's a really awesome video that I saw from David Bowie. Uh, it's an interview. I'm actually going to try and remember to link that in the description of this video. But it was a fantastic interview with David Bowie where he talks about being a musician and an artist. And he says some really good things in there. And one of them was to always never work where you're absolutely comfortable. But the most important thing is that you just tread out lightly to that deeper water, just so you're in that sort of space where you're, I think he says, where your toes are barely touching the floor. And that's where you're going to be to create some beautiful, amazing work. It's just stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit. That is all all it takes for you to be creating something incredible. So with that being said, that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to slowly get out of this comfort zone that we're in. And we're trying to focus on doing something that's a little bit more difficult, but not something that's going to overwhelm us, you know? So that, that I love that message. And I'm going to try and remember to link it because I think it's important. And I think it's great hearing other artists say something like that. Now, we're moving on to this reference over here. All right, I'm just going to do a little arrow here for you. That's all the editing you're going to get. <laughs> That's it. Well, let's see. I'll do a little bit of that. I may have done this a little bit too big, but you know what? It's all right. We'll, we'll see. We'll see about that later on. The good thing about being on digital is we can go back in it and edit it. That's it's a good tool, you know. I'm on the. Uh, if you guys can notice, I'm actually on a little bit of a digital phase now, and I think the reason why is because I've actually just kind of found different software to use apart from Photoshop. I don't know. I had this. I had a big issue with Photoshop, and this is a hundred percent my problem, but. I was way too focused on looking for brushes, like people's brushes, looking, looking for the perfect brush. And now I've decided I'm going to just use this and use the brushes that are in it. Because I know that Clip Studio has great brushes, Rebel has beautiful brushes, and I'm going to focus on that using those. And I'm going to stop looking for the perfect brush, and I'm going to do something fun with the software. And I'm, you know... It's come to the point where I've actually started really enjoying these. So, not to say that the traditional stuff's gone, because I'm yearning to make a painting. Like I really, really want to make a f actual painting, but first I'm working on one digitally. So that will be after. I'm actually trying to learn the process for oil painting at the moment. I found some great uh, videos on YouTube. 
that I'm going to watch through. I'll let you guys know what the... Oh, look at that. I'm doing something wrong here. <laughs> good thing I noticed that. Uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know if they're good after I watch them. But if any of you here are into painting, I think they'll be quite helpful. I'm learning the process of like doing a traditional oil painting with like an underpainting and then was it a Grisel or something like that? Um, that's like a layer on top, which helps you decide like the values of everything. So yeah, I'm basically on that little phase right now and I'm enjoying it. I think it's, uh, it's bound to bring some great things. And I think the best of artists will have knowledge of drawing and painting. I think both, both will complement each other really greatly so I think it will be great to focus on that a little bit more see I'm drawing this from different angles just so I'm starting to sort of get the grip and I hope you're also stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit in this to get to this stage to try your best to do something that scares you a little bit do something that just frightens you a tiny bit that's all they needs to do. Nothing, nothing more. Just a tiny bit. And that way, like David Bowie said, we're going to be in a place to do something great. So I hope you're pushing yourself a little bit today. I'm trying to today as well. This is not something I actually usually do. And like I said, really don't want to be doing this today. But I did it. <laughs> and you know what? That feeling you get when you do push yourself and you do actually go ahead and do that thing you really didn't want to be doing today that really really works on your mental health that makes all the difference in the world when you are here sitting and focused on something and you know that by doing this you're really going to benefit like you're actually becoming a better artist by doing all this that's going to do a real number on your mental health in a good way of course not in a bad way i think that is that's our purpose here we're trying to fulfill our purpose of being these fantastic artists and we're trying to be great we're trying to be strong and we're just doing our best Love it. So I hope hope some of this is motivational to you. I'm not. I don't know if I'm the best motivational speaker, but it's something I want to get better at. Talking in general, talking on camera. That's another thing that's great about doing these videos. Is there's no editing for me. You know, this is it. What what happens here happens. Like obviously, yeah. I, I'll cut out some voice breaks. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll leave them in for you guys to laugh at me. But. You know what? That's just me trying to be real with you here. I know I'm not the best public speaker. I don't know if that's what you want to call this. I'm not the best speaker, but I'm making an effort to learn it. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone again. We can start applying this rule to everything in life. Right. I think this is coming out really cool. I like the cleanliness of the lines I'm making right now. This is a uh, this is me not using guides, which is I don't know if any of you seen if you've seen the previous video, you will know that that's something I'm actually actively working towards is reducing my use of um, guidelines purely for the fact that I want to learn this stuff more. I want to put it into my muscle memory even more. I don't want to be yeah okay this <laughs> let's put this as an experiment i'm doing on myself i don't want to be a full advocate for not using guides here but i'm starting to feel the benefits of not using guides all the time Just, you know that's like the conventional art guidance is use a guideline use guidelines everywhere put guidelines here put guidelines there maybe it's not the best Maybe it's better to learn this way. Maybe it's better that we put muscle memory to work. We put our memory to work and we learn where this line should go 
what distance it should be without having to put a line here and here to understand that, you know? Hope that makes sense, but I noticed my camera is kind of getting a bit laggy, so I'm going to make my face smaller so we can focus on on this here. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, I've, I kind of noticed my phone was disconnected from Wi-Fi and maybe that's why I was starting to lag. But, yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully I'll fix it. I do, I use, uh, if anyone that's wondering, I use, like, my iPhone as a, basically a webcam because there's a thing called Continuity Cam on uh, your Mac software, which if you guys, uh, I know my boy Padawan, awesome guy he always comments on my videos uh, i know he's getting into making videos and if you have a car if you do have an iphone and a mac which i i understand that's a privilege to have those because they're very expensive but um they do have an awesome feature where you can use the you can use your phone as a webcam and you can actually do the same with android i think it's called droid cam or something and you can hook up your phone as a webcam to your computer and we can record that way so if any of you guys watching here are trying to get into youtube it's a great great thing i found out and i think it'll be very helpful for people so look at this we're making this look like a piece of cake this looks great i hope that yours looks just as great as this i don't want to boast or anything but i'm very i'm just it's good and important to celebrate the work you do. And if you do it well, it's good to celebrate that. Normalize being happy about the work you've done. And look at that. It's like a puzzle. Fits perfect. Oh, that's satisfying. I'm going to get rid of this. All right. Let's do a little close-up. So I'm going to unlock this layer here because I've locked it. I'm going to do a little close-up of this right here. I think I have to go into it separately. There we go. I'll hide these two behind it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I put it right at the bottom. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And we'll focus on doing this as the last thing. So do a nice little study of the shoulder blade, the actual shoulder blade. There's a lot of different complex uh, natural shapes happening here so it's also like with the last episodes and like with the with uh, the spine and everything that I've been talking about it's awesome to have the knowledge of these natural organic shapes because they're gonna really come in handy even when you're not expecting it they're gonna come in really handy and I think they're gonna you're gonna be very happy that you took the time and you actually worked on this I'm going to erase this a little bit because I see I've gone a little bit over here. It's not fully accurate, but it's all right. We'll keep to it. Great. I'm going to do a little shadow here. I thought this was going to be a little bit better for shading. Maybe it's the stabilization that's not really letting me shade. Yeah, I think it might have been that. Although, I don't know, I'm still getting clean lines. That's good. That means I've kind of learned how to be a little bit more stable with my line work. So no stabilization. I'm going to go for it freehand. <laughs> stabilization, if anyone's wondering, is a good tool for digital platforms where it kind of helps you make slightly straighter lines. Uh, you can set it to be as dramatic or as little as you want, but it is a useful feature, especially for those of you who are drawing with a mouse, because believe it or not, people do that. Some people, they start out with a mouse and, you know, they are absolute G's. I have no idea how how people start off by using a mouse to paint with or draw, but you know what? That just shows us that Sometimes we just make too many excuses. Sometimes you can absolutely use what you have. Well, most of the time. That's why I'm a big advocate of telling you guys to 
just grab a piece of paper and a pencil. You know, if I wasn't recording this, I would be doing this on a piece of paper. But it does make, digital does make my life a little bit easier when I'm recording. And it allows me to kind of show you guys a little bit more at once. So that's another big reason why I'm kind of going digital recently. So, and it is a great tool, it is a privilege, but, and I'm very grateful to be having these tools, to be able to use them, but that doesn't mean you can't just use a piece of paper, you know, that's uh, something that I struggled with for a long time. I always thought I needed this, I needed that, I needed the perfect pencil, I needed the perfect tablet, I needed the perfect laptop. I had a better tablet than this. I had a screen display. Turns out I didn't need it. Turns out I much prefer having a pen tablet like this. See? You don't always need that new thing. I think we're making some cool progress here. So, sorry if I'm going a little bit quieter. I'm trying to focus this down so I do not make all this effort go to waste. Finishing strong here. Final lap. Gonna erase this. It's good for generally when you're drawing and you have something that's going over something. Let's say you have like this ruler here and then you wanna draw something going behind it. Usually this is what I'll do. Bad idea. The better thing to do this is you get a little lesson in here is to draw this draw this and then erase one of these that is just going to make it it's such a tiny thing but believe me it looks so unprofessional when you get these lines off center like when that goes like this that looks terrible it looks so unprofessional and it's something i realized very late on and uh, something I learned quite late on, which I wish I didn't, but I, if you guys are still watching up until this point, which if you are, you are dedicated. You are dedicated, and I thank you so much for watching up until here. But, yeah, it's just something that I wish I knew much, much earlier on. Uh, it's, uh, it's the amount of times that I drew that and just left it, because I was like, yeah, that's all right. It's not alright. I want it to be perfect. I want it to be a lot better. And mind you, I'm not a perfectionist. Sometimes I wish I was more of a perfectionist. But that there is uh, unacceptable now, in my opinion. I should really focus on doing that less. And it is something I'm working on. But we are kind of starting to wrap this up here. I'm trying to gonna try and get the texture of this a little bit. Because we noticed this, uh, the shoulder blade has like this ribbed structure to it, which is really cool. I actually didn't fully know before going in here that that's what our shoulder blades look like on the inside. I wonder why they have like these waves. But that about calls it. Let's uh, separate these so we can now like really analyze what we've done here. Cool. I'm gonna separate this from here. So we'll put that over there. I'll move my face over. So we've got all the space to look at this. And we've got the shoulder blades here. Awesome. Okay. And then we've got another shoulder blade here from a different angle. Which still learning. There we go. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll leave it here. So Let's get a red, see if I can uh, kind of have a look at what went well here. So I think we've got a good understanding of the shapes that are going on. Uh, obviously, I've kind of covered them up. But in terms of this structure here and here, I could have slightly added a little bit more detail in here. So focusing on really what's going on here, because there's a clear space in between here and here. You can see them both. I think that works rather well. Yeah, so I'm focusing on something like that. And then, yeah, the ribs, the ribs, like I mentioned. The, the rest of this was not important. I just kind of wanted to have this structure 
set up so that I now know that this is where, you know, the shoulder is going to go and the arm, tricep, all that. So just for my genuine understanding, you know, backs over here, all that. So yeah, that is there. <laughs> I think that was awesome. Let's, uh, let's really just quickly go into that full screen mode. I want to thank you for being here. If you've made it up until this point, you are, you're awesome. Well done, really. Cause, uh, you know, when I was getting into this art stuff and when I was younger, I could not draw for like these longer periods of time. It's only when I started taking this a lot more seriously that I start, I'm now enjoying this stuff more. And I'm talking about the studying part. Cause I, obviously I could draw for hours, just random things, but actually sitting down and studying this. Hmm. So if you're still here and you're going and you've got this stuff on the page, good job. Good job. Like, seriously, good job. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you joined in. I, I really wish that it came out really well. <laughs> so if you do want to share any of this stuff, the description has the link to my discord, our discord. I'm going to call it our art tribe because, uh, it's pretty much what we're doing in there. We're just trying to level up constantly. We're trying to lead through this world as artists. <laughs> Don't want to get too deep with it, but over there, you can go there. You can share your work. I will happily look after it. I'm trying to be as active as possible in there. There's plenty of members in there that are absolutely awesome to help you out. They will sh share their art as well. They'll talk about the art. It is a really awesome community and I keep sharing it because I'm very happy <laughs> with the people that are there. And just so you guys know, if you're watching this, you're awesome. So if you want to share your artwork, you can drop in over there, send a message or not. It's up to you, but I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next fundamental days, which hopefully will be soon again, because I'm feeling this, I'm feeling this and we're going in on it. So yeah, take care, happy drawing. And I hope you create some absolutely awesome art this week. Take care.